Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm here with a product review. I don't do a whole lot of those, especially if it's not my product these days. So uh, this one's a pretty special one. I wanna show you a couple things. All right, first of all, I've been using this Karcher Cube for a while, like a year and a half. It's awesome. I really dig it. Um, I always shorten my, I mean, you can see, <laughs> I'm about to show you, 9,000 feet of electrical and a bullshit 20 foot hose that's all they come with don't understand it's got to be a cost thing anyway i always cut them down to uh, about five or six feet and then i splice the uh, gfci outlet back on there this actually i had one issue where the outlet got wet and it was bad so i ended up buying another one and uh putting it on here but i always shorten mine so this is the one i'll keep at home but i'm building a fantastic new rack situation which we started on i'm just going to give you a quick glimpse boom that's all you get on that and uh i'll have more information on that shortly but part of that rack system is going to be this little bad boy right here this is the 1.2 gpm greenworks uh the model is i guess it's gwz 0800737 um this thing is awesome. I absolutely love it. I did do quick disconnects for the uh, input. Yeah, the input hose. I put a quick disconnect on there to my deionizing water system, which all Florida water provides me that. So call them. That's the number there. Uh, tell them you want Jason to service uh, your deal if, uh, if you can. He's a great guy. Uh, so anyway, notice the size difference both 1.2 gpm okay this one says 1700 psi 1.2 honestly seems like this has slightly more pressure than that i don't know um also it doesn't matter because 1500 uh psi if that were an actual 1500 psi which i do not believe it to be uh would be borderline too much for a car paint anyway uh so anyway i got quick disconnects on both ends which you can get those on amazon uh, M22 quick disconnect here so that I can run my Uberflex hose. I also have M22 quick disconnects here onto the gun. Uh, that gun is not the gun that came with the unit. Neither is the hose there, but that Uberflex hose is awesome. You can get that on Amazon as well as the gun. Uh, this unit does come with a 25 degree and this 40 degree nozzle, so that's good. So you buy a gun with the quarter inch quick disconnect here, M22 on the bottom, get your M22 quick disconnects, and you've got a great little setup. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shorten the uh, electrical cord because it's entirely too long and what a waste uh completely disregard uh the 20 foot 25 foot whatever this thing came with it's junk anyway really low quality and too short uh and not as flexible as you need it so toss that toss the gun it comes with get you some quick disconnects get you the uber flex hose a new gun and you'll the unit does come with the nozzles and that unit, I mean, it's like half the size of the Karcher Cube and it's the same specs and the performance is awesome. I just washed my whole van. Uh, I, I was able to use the foam cannon with that, with that thing uh, with the strip and prep soap. And I mean, I mean, it's a clean van now, but it really just works very well. So I've got it hooked up to my deionized water and I mean, it just, the pressure is awesome. The flow is nice. Uh, the unit is very low noise. Uh, it it's just seems to be great. Now, if I can get this thing to last more than a year, uh, it'll be well worth the $100 I put into the unit. And then I've got, I want to say about 75 to 80 bucks in that gun, the quick disconnects that you need and the Uberflex hose. So 180 bucks gets you a really, really nice little setup that flows very little water. That was my foam cannon. Flows very little water. Uh, we're gonna be using a 26 gallon tank 
we should be able, with this pressure washer and about 20, 26 gallons of water, I should be able to get three solid cars done. And that's enough for a whole day worth of detailing. But anyway, this unit is a very little foot footprint, great pressure, um, low noise, low power uh, consumption. You can use, uh, well, I'm going to use the Briggs & Stratton P2200. Uh, generator to be running this thing on mobile jobs if I ever need to. Sometimes on boats I like to blow out all of the drain holes and that kind of thing with the pressure. Um, and then boat decks, you know, if they've been sitting a while, it's nice to have a pressure washer to just blow all that crap out of there versus trying to deal with it with a rinseless wash. But uh, for the most part, I don't use a pressure washer. But when I do need one, I need it to be very eco-friendly. And this thing is green and it works. So uh, if you guys got questions, 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. Uh, leave a comment below if you got questions about this unit. Uh, I did buy it on Amazon. It's the 1.2 GPM 1500 PSI Greenworks pressure washer. Again, disregard the hose it comes with, the gun it comes with, and get yourself some M22 quick disconnect fittings. Uh, as well as the Uberflex 50 foot hose. I actually bought two of those and I have a coupling adapter for that so I can make a hundred feet if I had to. Um, so if you got questions about this setup, let me know. It's awesome. Um, I've got more plans for it. You are going to see it very shortly in the cart video that I posted on YouTube the other day. I kind of mentioned uh, that I'll have more information about the cart. This pressure washer was per purchased for that cart. So stay tuned for all of that. But this pressure washer is awesome. Now, if it stands the test of time, we're going to be in great shape. But you definitely need to replace the hose, get those quick disconnects, and get a new gun. So uh, if you need me to provide you links, I probably will put them in the description below. Uh, so let me know if you got questions. And check out Gary Dean's Detailed Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And when I have new, uh, new found equipment like that, I'm sure other people already have reviewed this thing. It's pretty awesome. I can't imagine I'll be the only one reviewing it. But if you're looking for my opinion, I say go for it. Again, if it stands the test of time, if I get one year out of this thing, I'm more than happy. I don't care uh, beyond that. Uh, in fact, it should last five years for me because I'll barely use it, maybe once or twice a month, if that. So uh, if you got questions, let me know. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me babble and have a wonderful day, guys. Keep on detailing. We gone.